Hello guys! Welcome to the chapter WhatsApp Marketing Basics. In this lesson, we're going to talk about creating a new message. Before you can send a new message on WhatsApp, your recipient's number should be saved on your contacts list or you can add a contact as you click the new contact. To send a message, make sure you're under the chats tab. Click the message icon and choose a contact to send a message to. Now you can send a direct message to this person. WhatsApp has a feature of end-to-end -end encryption so you can trust that your messages are only seen by you and your recipient, not even WhatsApp. So start typing a message. Then click this icon to send your message to your contact. Now we'll send an encrypted message to our contact. As you can see in this section, it ensures that all messages to this chat and calls are secured with an end-to-end -end encryption. You can even click this message to learn more info regarding this feature. When you click Learn More, you'll be directed to this page where you can read more about WhatsApp security. This is how secure your conversation on WhatsApp is. Going back, when you tap these three dots, you can see more options such as View Contact, where you can mute notifications from this person, customize their notification, like the ringtone, Show media visibility, enable or disable the encryption protecting your conversation, their about description, and their mobile number. When you click this, you can click edit if you want to edit this contact's info. In this chat window, you can see here that you can make a video call or a voice call with this contact. This icon will allow you to record a voice message, you can lock the recording when you slide up, and you can cancel as you swipe to the left. You can even change the wallpaper of your chat window's background. Just click this icon, then choose Wallpaper. Choose a photo from your gallery. It says here, pinch to zoom in or drag to adjust. When you're done, click Set. Now we've successfully changed our wallpaper for all our chat windows. That is how easy you can create a new message on WhatsApp. We can now proceed to the next topic, Sending Media. Hello guys! In this lesson, we're going to talk about sending media on WhatsApp. In the previous lesson, we've learned about sending a new message. Now let's try sending any media on WhatsApp. Go to your WhatsApp. Under the Chats tab, tap the message icon. Choose any of your contacts that you want to send a message to. If you've already invited a contact on WhatsApp and it doesn't appear on your WhatsApp contacts list, click these three dots and choose Refresh. Your contact list is now updated, and as you can see here, it's now showing 35 contacts. We have one contact added on our list. Browse and look for the contact that you want to send the message to. Tap on your contact. Now you're on the chat window. To send the media, click on the clip icon. You can see that we have more options to send to our contact. You have more options such as document, camera, gallery, audio, location, and contact. If you want to access your camera and shoot a photo or a video, tap on the camera icon. It says tap if you want to shoot a photo or hold for a video. Let's tap on the circle. You can also add a caption here. Type your caption and add an emoji if you like. You can swipe up for more filters. As you can see, you can choose from the five filters available. Above, you can crop the photo and select the area that you want to be seen in the photo. Then click Done. When you click this icon, you can add more stickers. Browse and choose a sticker. Then you can pinch to zoom in and drag to adjust the size of the sticker. When you click the T icon, you can add more text to the photo. When you slide up or down on the palette, you'll see the different color palettes applied to your text. Tap again to exit the text editor. When you click on the pencil icon, it allows you to draw on your photo. But before you draw, choose the color you want to use first. When you draw first and swipe up or down on the color palette, it won't apply the changes into your drawing. If you want to erase it, tap on the undo icon above. You can click this icon to send it to your contact or tap this to make a new one. Now we have successfully sent a photo we just made to our contact. Let's try to send a video. Tap on the clip icon again. Choose Gallery. Tap on a video. You can also add a caption here. In this section, you can drag a selected part of this video to trim this video. 
You can trim from the beginning and the end. You can also add stickers, a text, and draw on your video. If you want to see a preview, just tap on the play icon. The video will play together with your added drawings, stickers, and texts. If you want to remove them, just click on the undo icon. When you're done, click this icon to send it to your contact. Here's the media that we have sent to this contact. If he taps on the video, this is what he will see. When he taps on the photo, he'll see this custom photo was sent. We can also send an audio file as we click the audio icon. Next, click Location. Click Allow. Then enable your location settings. Now you can send your current location, choose from these detected landmarks near you, or share your live location. Let's send our current location. Now our contact receives our current location here. When he taps on the location, he can use Google Maps to view it. If we tap on the Share Live Location, and then click Continue, you can choose how long you want to share your exact location. You can share it for 15 minutes, 1 hour, or 8 hours. Also, you can add a comment here. It will show you that you are sharing your live location until this time. You also have the option to stop sharing your live location if you need to. That is how easy you can send any media to your contacts on WhatsApp. We can now proceed to the next topic, sending a message broadcast. Hello guys, in this lesson, we're going to talk about sending a message broadcast. WhatsApp broadcasts are a list of recipients that you can send broadcast messages to. It allows you to send messages to multiple people on your list without creating a group chat. To make sure that all your recipients in your broadcast list can receive your message, they must add you to their WhatsApp contacts list, or else they won't be receiving the broadcast message that you sent. It differs from WhatsApp group in a way that people on your broadcast list won't be able to see anyone in your broadcast list who will be receiving your broadcasts, making it more private to your recipients. Now let me show you how to send a message broadcast on your WhatsApp. Open your WhatsApp Messenger, click the three dots, then select New Broadcast. It says here that only contacts with their number in their address book on WhatsApp will receive your broadcast messages. Now select people on your contacts list to receive your broadcast messages. Then click this button to create the broadcast list. As you can see, we have selected three recipients and their first names are displayed here. Broadcast messages are also secured with end-to-end -end encryption. This window indicates that you have created a broadcast list with three recipients. Whatever message that you send to these recipients, they will receive it like you are sending them a direct message. They won't be seeing the other contacts who will receive your broadcast. Your recipients will think that you are sending them a direct message. Remember that these recipients must have your WhatsApp contact number and their WhatsApp contacts list for them to receive your broadcast message. Compose your message as if you're sending a message directly to one of your recipients. This makes them feel that you're sending them a personal WhatsApp message, and it builds trust with your recipients. We have successfully sent a broadcast message to our broadcast list. You can also send photos or short videos as your broadcast message. If you check one of our chat windows with one of these broadcast lists, you can see that our broadcast message is shown like a one-to-one -one message to this contact. That is how easy you can send a message broadcast. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and go to technicforce.com for more tools and training.